It was quarter-finals time at the ABN AMRO World Tennis Tournament in Rotterdam. A trip to the impressive Ahoy Arena, the perfect place to find yourself on Friday. And eight players were still in the running to take centre stage on Sunday and claim their maiden ATP 500 title. The first match saw French qualifier Nicolas Mahou go head-to-head -head with the number eight seed Victor Troitsky. On paper, Troitsky looked a firm favourite, but the form book quickly went out the window as Mahou picked apart his opponents. Into the second set, and it was one-way traffic. Already a break ahead, the world number 54 conjured a delicious lob to leave Troitsky helpless and set up another break. Oh, he's made it. Oozing quality, Nicholas Mahout. Mahout then rounded things off to reach his first ever ATP 500 semi-final. That's about as close to perfection as you're ever going to see from Nicola Mahout. The week had seen three teenagers in the draw, but Mahout was still doing it for the old guard. I think I'm the oldest one uh, still in the draw. Thanks, Roger, I didn't come. So. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I feel, I feel better and better. So uh, the more I play, the more I feel good. So let's see if I can reach the final tomorrow. Next up on centre court was the last eight meeting between Martin Clijan and Roberto Batista Agut. The first set went to the tie break, where Bautista Agut found himself a mini breakdown. But this season, the Spaniard is not used to losing, and he drilled a winner to turn it around. Yeah, he's made it. Back he comes. In the second set, with Bautista Agut serving for the match, Clijan rallied as his big forehand began to fire. He then smoked another return winner in the tie break to get back on terms. What a recovery from Martin Klizan. Five match points he saved. And the Slovakian then steamrolled through the third set for victory in just under two and three quarter hours. What a performance. It's Martin Klizan who is through to his first semi final here in Rotterdam. Into the evening session, and with two seeds already knocked out, the Haas remaining one, Marin Cilic, was hoping for a better outcome against Philipp Kohlschreiber. The German failed to take any of the four break points he earned early, allowing Cilic to find his feet. The Croat hadn't dropped a set all week, but in the eighth game of the second set, Kohlschreiber rediscovered his touch to set up a break point chance. That's a super point from Philipp Kohlschreiber. Call making it happen in German, taking the risk. With the match all square, the 32-year-old went on the attack and began to reap the rewards. Just too good right now. He's got all the answers. And the unseeded Kohlschreiber secured his best result in Rotterdam with a first visit to the semi-finals. He's done it. Seals it with an ace. Another seed tumbles in Rotterdam. What a night for Philip Kohlschreiber. First set and second set, I think he was the stronger player. He had more opportunities. He put a little bit more pressure on my service game. And uh, I think it was very important to um, stay in the match. Um, I had some tough uh, situations, managed to come through and uh, finally lift my game and my confidence to another level. The remaining quarter-final match saw the number five seed Gael Monfils take on wildcard Alexander Zverev. After Monfils took the opening set in the tie-break, ever the showman, he began to pull out the party pieces. Oh, that is just out of this world. But after securing a break in the fourth game, Monfils got down to the serious business of advancing to the semis. Finds the corner which he duly completed against a tired-looking opponent in straight sets. Seals it this time. And for the second time in his career, Gael Monfils reaches the semi-final here in Rotterdam. So we were left with four names, each jostling to become the new ABN AMRO World Tennis Tournament Champion for 2016.